Alright guys, what's going on? How are we today? Steve Mingle Co. Final Web Design uh, coming at you with the rest of or the second part of the tutorial for the WordPress 2021 theme. And basically what we're going to be doing in this part is we're going to uh, be building out some of the pages as we've already built them here on our menu, our home about portfolio contact, along with editing this home page here, filling it with a little bit more personal information. And then um, let's get right into it. So basically, as we left off, this is the site as is. Uh, it's it's really not very presentable yet. But one thing I am going to do is I did find my old logo. So I'm just going to upload the old logo that I had created. It's nothing super special, but it is a logo instead of just that text. So why don't we go in and let's select that and get that put in. Um, We'll take the whole image for the logo. So it's just a little education uh, icon and my name. So basically that goes up here on the top and that's that's where it's sitting. I guess that is maybe a little bit hard to read with the black on the um, darker background. I can update that and maybe make it white at a different time. But for now, we're just going to keep fashion through. The site title, I'm actually going to go and take this off now because really we, we don't need that. And I'm actually going to go and take off this professional web developer tagline as well because um, it's just it's really not needed now that we have the logo. So getting back into it, why don't we take a look at this first page here, this home page of the theme. And as you can see, it also updated the logo here, which is kind of cool. Again, I'll probably change that to a white, but going back. We're going to go to the actual editing of this home page here. So why don't we go to our pages, all pages. We should be able to find a page that's just titled home page. And let's see, create your website with blocks, front page. So this is actually it. And again, in this theme, we're not using any third party like Elementors or any kind of uh, tools to help design these sites. We're just working with the WordPress Gluttenberg um, default so this title I want to change this and let's just open up another tab so we can actually see the front end of the site this is it I want this to say professional webmaster and WordPress developer or application developer so let's just align this again create your website with blocks create your website with blocks let's go professional webmaster and app web application developer or maybe I should just put WordPress developer and so we've got that why don't we update it let's take a quick look at how that uh, reflects on the front end and it actually just change the title of the page. So let's just copy it here as well, where it's still an H2 tag. I would prefer that this stays on one line. Let's see. Um, web, why don't we go web developer designer? Just to try to get this. It's, I probably could make the H2 font size a little bit smaller over here so that it's not so big but I do want that to kind of align so it's it's kind of filling up the whole width of the page so here we are we're on our home page yeah this is really big we could probably change that but again I'm just going through with the main um, applications here of the site and then down here we're going to do our remaining pages so this will be our about us this will be our uh, portfolio and this will be our contact us page so yeah in this theme we're going to go through the home page here now here's our first few images that we have and we'll move this. Basically um, what this is doing is letting us add these cool kind of images. They are like, it, it's very different style how they have these kind of logged on top of each other as opposed to just side by side or something. But why don't we replace this? I'm not even exactly sure what I want to upload. Um, why don't we put this, uh, maybe one or two of these certificates. So here's a certificate from, uh, let's do this HTML certificate. It's kind of cool. 
we can leave that for now. Why don't we write a caption as well? HTML certified. And these were just with Solo Learn, which is a um, application you can download for your iPhone or Android. It's it's pretty pretty cool application, and you can actually get certified by completing those. So why don't we replace this one as well? And I guess we'll add another. Um, let's see what's happening. So we just got to slide over, upload. We're going to do our CSS certificate. So here we can list our CSS certificate and I'll put down here CSS certified. And down here we'll, why don't we put JavaScript? Everybody loves a person who can do the JavaScript. And I do love my JavaScript. So let's go in here and we're going to uh, replace, scroll over. Open, oh, we don't need to open it. We're going to do actually upload fresh content. So going here, we'll go to JavaScript and we'll add JavaScript. Oh, oh bro. JavaScript certified. So as you can see, guys, I mean, the WordPress has gotten so intuitive that there's really not a whole lot of complexity to getting this stuff put in there, it's become more or less click and paste. So I'm going to continue here. Basically here, I'm going to do the about us, the portfolio and the uh, contact. And that's going to kind of take us into the final part of the pages. So um, here we'll just click. It's an H3 tag. This is going to be about Steve. This is going to be uh, portfolio. And this is going to be contact Steve. So here we have our, okay, so that goes to the about us page and let's just check the contact is just contact and the portfolio is just portfolio. So why don't we link these as long as we have this right here, we'll just go Steve, uh, HTTPS, um, about, and I think it actually pulls it, yeah. So why don't we just have that do it automatically? It pulls the page if the page has been built. So we're just including these links just so it's a little bit more navigatable. Gosh, my talking today, it's kind of late. Um, contact, and let's just update that. I like to do updates because if you don't continue to update, you're going to find that um, you can run into issues if something freezes or doesn't work or the internet cuts out so so let's just write a quick bio steve mingleco is a pro professional web design and developer with over 10 years of experience he is skilled in html css JavaScript, I could add PHP, Python, uh, I know I have, um, you know, frameworks like Angular and Vue and stuff, but we'll just add WordPress and specializes in WordPress development. So that'll work for now. Portfolio, be, uh, browse, Steve Mingleco's portfolio of websites on his portfolio page. Um, all projects are designed and developed on the WordPress platform. All right, guys, so there we got that. And finally, if you would like to contact Steve to learn more about building your professional website, WordPress website, contact him on his contact page. So there we go. We have now, let's take another look at the homepage. So we've got most of the 
you know, core information off here now. There's not as much of the, you know, details, really only this piece. And honestly, I think I'm going to add a form here, but I don't know if I should do it in this one because it's getting a little bit long. But why don't we do it real quick? We already got the, the, the form installed, so need help. Why don't we go back? If we don't, we need to install a plugin called um, contact form and it should just be called contact um, contact form 7 so let's search that again contact form it's one of the most popular forms out there it's, uh, it's pretty core to almost any website that you're gonna install so it's really easy just go to the plugins add new search it activate it and now what you'll see is it actually pops up over here under well let's go to our plugins and let's go to settings and underneath contact now we'll see this contact form one we can go in here and edit this but at this stage i just want to get this into the front end of the site where this need help is so let's go back to our pages and we're going to the front page again which is the professional webmaster and wordpress developer which was the title that i changed and we're just going to add this form, which will kind of finalize this front end page. So need help fill out the form below. And honestly, I do got to just change this. These fonts are so big on this theme. I really don't know why WordPress was going with such a huge font but as long as it's on two lines we can work with that right in here is where so first of all we're going to edit this and we're actually going to remove this block and we're going to remove this block as well so here's our two blocks here um, one I could have maybe my name and information this one I'm just going to put a contact form 7 and we have the contact form 1 and here I'm going to put uh, just my contact information. So let's go to paragraph uh, phone three zero well three zero five eight one two five nine 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 email. Just going to be steve at gmail dot com. And I won't put my address, but if we wanted to, we could just go address Miami FL. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I think we've updated our whole homepage. Why don't we take a quick look? Again, I'm just trying to keep this simple and using what the theme provides. The theme is very basic. Uh, we can do a lot more than this, obviously, and at some stage we will. However, I just want to get this. So we have our logo. We have our navigation now for our few pages. We have our title, which, yeah, I, I, this has to be small. This is just way too big. Um, going down here, we have our few certificates that we've put up. We have our links with our, you know, going to our other pages. So that's all ready for setup. And then here we have our quick form. Um, I could probably take off this message option just to keep it a little more tight. But that's how it's going to look for now, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. In the next part, we'll build out the remaining pages and uh, just get this thing finished up with you guys. But this is the WordPress 2021 tutorial. And if you guys liked it, leave a like and subscribe. That stuff helps. And uh, catch me in the next set of the tutorial. Peace.